Hi guys, so for this video, I'm going to show you how to graph points on a coordinate plane the easy way. Now when I say the easy way, I'm just giving you a different way to think of graphing in order to remember the order. Now when you graph points, the order is the most important because if you switch the order up, you're gonna switch the, you're gonna get the graphic incorrectly. So to start off, here is my coordinate grid, right? You have your four quadrants, you have your axes, and the axes are already numbered. So what I want you to think of first is the y-axis goes up and down. The x-axis goes left to right, okay? Now, this might look crazy when you're graphing, like where do I start? So when I explain to my students, I always want you to think of this as a building, okay? So here's my, I don't usually draw this out, but I'm doing this for visual purposes, okay? So here's my building right there, okay? So the top two quadrants, I want you to think of the upstairs of the building. The bottom two quadrants, I want you to think of the downstairs. So when you walk into a building, you always, what? You find a door, Right, so in this building, our door or our entranceway is at the origin or zero, zero, okay? And when you graph points, that's always where you start, which is why you wanna visualize that as a door. And then just for visual purposes, I'm going to draw a little door in here, very short door, clearly, okay, with a doorknob. So again, you walk into your building, always at the origin. Now, here, let me do some windows just for visual purposes. Here we go. There's our upstairs. All okay. right. Now here's our upstairs. Again, the top two quadrants. Here's our downstairs, the bottom two quadrants. Now when you graph a point, you always want to think of the X coordinate first, the Y coordinate second. Now thinking of a building, when you walk inside, you always want to go to the elevator first or the staircase first, then the floor. And this is the main way, the main easy way to remember, okay? First you go to the elevator, then you go to the floor. So I'll show you with an example here, okay? Let's look at point six, four. All right, let's start with kind of an easy one. So we have the X coordinate, the Y coordinate. I know first is my elevator, then my floor. Okay, so when I walk into the building at my origin, I first wanna go to my elevator. So I'm either going to walk right or I'm going to walk left. When you go into a building, you don't just jump upstairs or jump downstairs right? We don't have magical powers. You want to be able to walk first to find your location. And by doing that, you're going to walk right or left. So this point here is telling me to find elevator six. I'm going to walk inside. I know six is positive, so it's going to go to the right. And there's my elevator right there. Okay. Second is the floor. So now I'm either going to go up on the elevator or I'm going to go down on the elevator downstairs. Well, this one, it tells me to go upstairs because it's positive. So I'm going to go up to floor four. And there's my location. Okay, six, four. Now, just to show you another example, let's say we want to go downstairs this time. Six, negative four. So I'm going to do X, Y, elevator, floor. Okay. So again, I walk in to my doorway at the origin. Again, it's telling me to find elevator six. So I'm going to walk to the right to find elevator six. And then this time it's telling me to go downstairs because it's negative. So go downstairs to floor four. There I am. Six, negative four. Okay. And the same applies to the quadrants to the left. All right, so if I wanted to do an example, one more, negative three, negative five, I know I have my x-axis, my y-axis, I think elevator, floor, okay? So again, I walk in at my doorway, my origin. This time I'm looking for elevator negative three, okay? So I know I'm not gonna go right, those are positives. So I'm gonna go left to negative three, 
and then my floor tells me to go downstairs to five. Downstairs meaning negative, okay? So negative three, one, two, three, four, five, downstairs to floor five, or negative five. And this works for any points, as long as you think of it as a building and you think of elevator first and then the floor. So in this video, I showed you how to graph points on a coordinate plane the easy way.